What's up, YouTube? Why Scorpio back with another reaction. This time, we have slapped ham. These eerie videos are freaking viewers out. Uploaded March 25th, 2021. Now, unlike normal videos from Slap Tam that I've watched, um, it's usually like between, I don't know, 11 to 13, sometimes 14 minutes. This is 19 minutes and 27 seconds. So it's 33 seconds away from being a 20 minute video. So I don't think I've ever watched a video that was that long from him. But that just lets me know that there's going to be a lot longer clips in it with a lot more backstory and a lot more creepy shit usually happens alongside that. So I'm excited to watch it. So y'all already know all the important links will be down in the description. So without further ado, let's get into it. screaming in the dead of night. It's a situation most of us have nightmares about at one point or another, but never really expect to actually experience in real life. For one Reddit user in Switzerland, Stix Zardinia, this terrifying situation became a reality during a stroll in the dark one unlucky evening. In the video, we see the ground where the camera operator is walking, a flashlight illuminating the path. A couple of seconds into the clip, we can already hear ear-piercing screams in the distance. The sounds continue to shriek as the camera operator walks forward. The cameraman lifts the camera up where we can see the continued dark wooded path. And he's so calm. That's what's Shortly killing after me. after the clip ends and the screams fade away and stop. Why are you so calm? It's still Reddit me user up. included a disclaimer with the upload of the video, saying that the screams couldn't be from foxes, as the surrounding forest is allegedly fox-free. Still, most other Reddit users believe that the screams were that of animals including the possibility of birds, coyotes, or bobcats. Some users noted that the way the camera operator walks casually suggests it probably wasn't the scream of children. Right. Or else he would have had a greater sense of urgency in his movements. Right, he's so cool with it. Nonchalant as fuck. Regardless, this video remains hotly debated and a potentially true nightmare come to life. For most, a home means shelter and rest from the outside world, a place where we can fully relax from our pending responsibilities. This is not the case for YouTuber Sabia L, an apartment renter in the Netherlands. Her home recently became a place where relaxing has become downright impossible. Instead, all she feels is terror. The first video the YouTuber shared to the site shows several instances of possible paranormal activity. In the clip, Sabia L shows us her kitchen before moving to her living room. Suddenly, there's a banging sound, and the YouTuber pans the camera up. We can see the ceiling lamp eerily swinging back and forth, all on its own. Soon after, the kitchen lights begin to flicker on and off. The YouTuber slowly walks back into the kitchen, and we can now see that all the cupboards and drawer doors have been opened. She... Yeah, I... She then leaves the kitchen, walking back towards the living room. 
there's another banging sound from the kitchen and she whips the camera around. This is where something truly eerie is caught on camera. Take a look. <laughs> if we take another look, you can see a terrifying black shadow peeking out from behind the kitchen entrance. <laughs> Couldn't be me. In the second video, we're back in the YouTuber's living room. For the first 30 seconds or so, nothing out of the ordinary happens. Until suddenly, the ceiling line begins to swing. She playing games. She playing around with her life. 30 seconds after this, the curtains in the living room begin to move all on their own. Moments later, the YouTuber turns the camera to the kitchen. Watch what happens. As you can see, a bottle is suddenly thrown into the living room. The uploader walks straight into the kitchen, but there's no one there. Her house too active. She walks around making sure the doors to the apartment are locked. Proving no one could have snuck in or out during the clip. She needs to go. Like now. <laughs> the videos have been viewed by thousands of people, causing a stir in the paranormal community. Many viewers believe in the authenticity of the videos, hoping that the YouTuber is finding a way to deal with the paranormal presences, or even encouraging her to move into a new home. A common suggestion by many has been that the apartment get blessed by a holy person such as a priest. Whatever the YouTuber decides to do, hopefully she does so quickly before things get much more sinister. Believe that. <laughs> Sometimes getting a bad haircut can be scary in and of itself. But what about when alleged paranormal activity also gets involved during the experience? She's kind of decent. That's exactly what happened in one barbershop as uploaded by GQ Cuts on YouTube. The video begins with a brief explanation that the barbershop recently had security cameras installed inside. We then see footage from the security camera of the barbershop during the day. One barber cuts the hair of a woman, while another worker stands by the desk and another customer waits nearby. Nothing seems amiss at first, until about 30 seconds later. On the right side of the video, we can see something odd taking place. Take a look. As you can see, a blue cloak begins to slowly lift up, seemingly by itself. It continues to rise, and the customer behind the desk suddenly jolts up in fear, quickly walking away from the desk. The employees ask him what's wrong, and the customer explains that the cloak just moved. Black dude ain't playing. <laughs> we up out of there. Employees disregard it, but the customer continues to claim it happened. Nah, he was out. My man. He know what's up. Now, while all this is going on, something else happens in the background that falls in the category of inexplicable. Have a look. Play it back, we can see a mannequin head resting on a shelf. It starts to turn and face the customer. The customer then leaves and the clip ends shortly after. There are some characteristics of the video that have made some viewers suspicious that it's all just a hoax, such as the barber's grin towards the security camera at the very end of the video. Some believe the video could just be a prank pulled to raise publicity for the barbershop, while others think this is paranormal activity caught right in action. But what do you think's going on here? Let us know in the comment section below. 
Why the paranormal activity have to go after the black dude? Really? Damn, we can't catch a break. Spending time with friends usually means having good times and forming fun memories together. But what about when those times go from fun to downright horrifying? That may have been what occurred to one group of friends when spotting a creepy figure in the distance. This eerie clip was sent to us by one of our viewers, Bianca. Viewers see a group of friends hanging outside under blankets, chatting with one another. One of the friends pulls out his iPhone and checks the weather, discussing the temperature. Damn. Cold as shit. This goes on for another minute or so until the camera operator moves the camera around where viewers can see a house in the distance. Watch what they caught on camera. Viewers can see two large yellow eyes peeking out from the doorway of the home. <laughs> That's the thumbnail. The eyes look like they're part of a larger yellow brownish head. The camera operator turns the camera back in a panic and the video suddenly ends. Dude is just staring. The large eyes and peculiar shape of the figure certainly resemble an alien-like creature. The figure's grilling stare is also particularly haunting, almost as if it's stalking the boys. So, is this an intruder spying on the boys, or something a little more mysterious? Let us know your thoughts down below. I don't like that dude. Like, it's just staring at him like... I got goosebumps. It would seem an apparent haunting can happen at any time and anywhere. Popular YouTubers, Mighty Car Mods, have become one of the biggest sources of debate for paranormal fans recently, thanks to various sightings in their car workshop. In the first of four clips with potential paranormal activity, we see two men sitting in a car hooked up to a computer to monitor system stats. Here's one of the noise. The fifth time. Let's go home. They chat casually about the results. When suddenly something very strange can be seen outside of the driver's window. Take a look. So far, mate, 20 if we take another look, a nearly transparent white figure appears for a few moments before fading away. So far, mate, Upon closer inspection, it seems the figure has the face of a ghostly woman. So far, mate, In the second video, the YouTubers are working on a car engine. Keep an eye on the background. When you put a lot of energy into something, we actually love it. Like, this car is actually... Creepy. As we can see, an engine crane begins to move very slowly, seemingly all on its own. I was just about to say, like what the fuck is, is that? Freaky. Creeps to the side before stopping for a moment, starting again until stopping a few seconds later. It's worth saying as well that this issue that we have is the same... Damn! Thing the and they don't notice that? The third clip finds the two men standing next to a car, talking to the camera. All of a sudden, a large wooden block in the background slides forwards and falls to the ground. It's going to be excellent, so let's get to work, people. It's going to be... One of the men freaks out, asking the alleged paranormal presence, what do you want and why? Excellent, so let's get to work, people. It's going to be... What, what do you want? What is going on? What do you want from us? Seriously? The fourth video finds the same two men standing near a car and talking with another man in the background leaning over the engine. In the top left of the video, we can see a box sitting on a mezzanine. It slowly inches forward until it completely falls off and topples to the ground. We're spinning. It's getting oil, but we've actually got to make it run. One of the hosts states, that was weird. We've actually got to make it run. That was weird. Uh, we've actually got to make it run properly, and that's why Dave's here. The debate on these videos remains hot with many viewers. Some believe that some of the activities can be explained via a string or a person hidden off camera, manipulating the moving objects. Others think something more mysterious is afoot. For instance, some believe that the engine crane is way too heavy to be moved by a simple string. But what do you think? Are these car shop owners having a bit of fun, or is their shop genuinely haunted? So far, mate, 20 
I don't see how you can explain that ghost face. Slap temp viewer, Mega Squirrel 64 Gamer, sent in a video that captured something completely spine chilling right next to his mother in their living room. In the provided video, there's an explanation by the narrator that a ghost was caught on live camera. The footage was captured via their doorbell camera as they received a package. The video cuts to the footage in question where we can see a woman, the uploader's mother, sitting on a couch. Our viewer claims they have no idea who the spooky figure is sitting right next to her. What the this weird fuck? Figure on the, right. the figure seems to have a greyish face and is wearing a dark robe. Bro, the video come. then cuts to a shot from further away, where we see the viewer's father opening the front door with his mother, and the creepy figure is sitting in the background. Now, as you can see, when he moved, it was so right there. The uploader further explains that his sister was in the kitchen and he was upstairs, so there's no way to explain the figure as being a family member in disguise. I was upstairs, and my dad was doing a package. Who was that? <laughs> doing the, the clip is played once again in slow motion and with a close-up on the unknown entity before the video ends. Bro, like... The fact that the spooky figure is sitting so close to the narrator's mother makes this video both extra bizarre and frightening all the same. Hell yeah! One viewer brought up the possibility of the figure actually being a demon hiding under a robe. Others thought perhaps it's a mannequin or a pile of clothing that just happens to look spooky. But it has this eyes view, and a nose. But, judge for yourself. but it has eyes and a nose, though. Before we take okay. a look at some bizarre footage of some kind of UFO flying near Area 51, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and mysterious videos. Also, a completely free way to support our channel is to click that little thumbs up button there. Going hunting is a popular hobby for many individuals around the world. For YouTuber Tim Wells Bow Hunter, his hunting trip took a mysterious turn when he spotted something in the sky that couldn't be explained as just another animal. The video begins with the YouTuber broadcasting his hunting trip with his friend. Live in New Mexico and I'm filming with my buddy. The host states that they're hunting near Area 51 in Nevada, a facility in the US well known for being home to hush-hush experiments and operations as overseen by the US government. Just when they're about to wrap up their hunting session, they notice something strange in the sky. Best I could tell, it was nearly a mile out. The YouTuber zooms in on the object, which looks to be a small electronic device zipping through the air. Glistening in the sun. The object moves very quickly against the wind, and the narrator suggests that it could be made of aluminium. It kind of looked like it was made of aluminium, but... It then disappears from sight, leaving the hunters dumbfounded by what they just saw. I have no idea what that is. The YouTuber suggested that it could be some type of UFO, which many believe are common in Area 51 and its surrounding locations, based off numerous sightings from other people. There were many other suggestions from other viewers, including the possibility of it being a balloon, a bird, or some type of humanoid. However, remember that it was flying against the wind, so that would rule out any kind of balloon. Many viewers were impressed with the quality of the video, as compared to many other similar UFO sightings that are often blurry or shaky. So could this really be some kind of craft being tested in Area 51? Love to get your take on this in the comment section below fast against the wind.
Now, if you want to see some more scary videos, then check out that link on the top there. Otherwise, we have a massive curated paranormal playlist right there that'll keep you entertained for hours and hours. Now, remember to hit that thumbs up button and leave us a comment down below. And, and that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. Pew! I don't... I don't know how... You know... I understand that there are um, disbelievers in all types of topics and events in society and stuff like that, which is whatever. You're entitled, yeah, you're entitled to your opinion. But sometimes, bro, the evidence is just too damn groundbreaking for you to try to debunk and pick apart because you don't want to believe that this particular thing or phenomenon actually exists. Like, for instance, I don't understand how people can see, like, the dudes who were in the, uh, I guess that was some type of mechanic shop or whatever. Okay, the box falling and the, the piece of wood or whatever falling. Okay, that can be explained. But the ghostly white face and even the engine crank uh, object, as heavy as that motherfucker probably is, like, how do you explain that? Like, how? How can you be in such an opposition against what you see in this evidence? Like, I don't understand. And then what about the... Um, the dude who, who who a ghost or a demon in disguise was sitting next to his mom on the couch. Like they say clothing. People were trying to say clothing could be making it. Making this apparition or object or whatever look like a ghost. But I would agree with that. But this ghost or whatever it was had eyes and a nose. I don't know, I don't know how you can put clothing together and it would have eyes and a nose, like, and, and a mouth. Like, I don't, I, I don't get it. It, it. it be blowing me, like, how people try to downplay, like, like, evidence that's just, like, right there in your face. And, like, they take it as a joke. Like, they're like, oh, you're just trying to get famous on the internet and... Oh, uh, it's a hoax and shit like that. Like, I don't believe, like, every piece of paranormal evidence that I see. I don't. And I'm no type of expert. It's just having common sense. Sometimes you can look at a piece of evidence and say, that's bullshit. You can. At the same time, you look at some and you're like, fuck, I can't come up with no logical reasonable explanation for that picture or for that video or that strange noise and stuff like that like how could you like for real the dude walking late at night in the woods for whatever reason the screams in the background i don't understand how those could be hoaxed like you clearly hear it and it's like they thought it was fake because he was walking casually. I wouldn't think it was fake just because he was walking casually. I just think it's weird that he's walking so nonchalantly while hearing it. But I'm not going to allude that to the fact it might be fake. I don't think that has any type of, you know, merit to the situation. But it couldn't be me. It was weird. I can't walk anywhere and hear these screams, whether it's animals or people. And not have some sense of urgency on my surroundings and what might be coming. Oh, girl, a whole house was haunted. Like, I, like the way that it said on the title when it first started that clip, it said Haunted House, um, comma, Netherlands. Like, that's usually what you put when a city and a state. So, I like, I know the name of this city or town is not Haunted House. But no, they're saying it's a haunted house in the Netherlands. I'm like, okay, 
that make more sense. I was about to say, like, damn, they don't cut no corners. They don't sugarcoat shit. They let you know the name of this town or city is Haunted House. Man, that's how I get down out here. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I told y'all with the fact that the video was longer by Slap Tam, there was going to be a lot more evidence, a lot more clips to these videos. Man, I loved it, loved it. It's been a while since I uh, watched the Slap Tam video, so I figured it was time I got one out to y'all. Don't even trip about it. We got more coming. Stay tuned. Man, I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope y'all drop a like, a comment, share the video, subscribe to the channel, join the crew because we always recruiting. Tap that bell icon so you will be notified every single time I drop new content. Man, that's all I have for y'all. So until the next one, y'all be safe, be blessed, be smooth. I am signing out.